from legless lizards and scary turtles to creatures that resemble Spider-Man. Here are 15 of the world's most uncommon reptiles. Chinese softshell turtles. Their name comes from their carapace that lacks horns or scutes. Instead, the shell is pliable and leathery, especially at the sides. The shell's lightness and flexibility enables them to better navigate open waters or muddy lake bottoms. They're noted for the unusual trait of excreting waste through their mouth that allows the turtle to drink less briny water while conserving its bodily fluids. If too much of the brackish water was ingested, the animal might be poisoned. Experts say it's the only only animal found thus far to exhibit this unique ability. Bobtail skinks. This species of blue-tongued skink hails from Australia. Their large blue tongues are used as a defense mechanism to ward off potential enemies. These are slow-moving critters with heavily armored bodies that grow upwards of 12 inches long, or 30 centimeters. It's also known as the two-headed skink due to its short and stumpy tail. That tail resembles the creature's head, and it's used as a way to confuse predators. The tail also stores fat reserves, which the skink can feed off of during the winter. Did you know these creatures are also known as shinglebacks and sleepy lizards, in addition to several other names? Some experts claim this animal has more common names than any other lizard, the pig-nosed turtle. The name of this beast was inspired by its unusual proboscis, which has a porcine appearance, but it serves as more than just a conversation piece. The reptile can use it as a snorkel, which pokes above the water's surface. That allows the turtle to maintain a steady oxygen supply as it remains submerged. The nose is also very sensitive to any motion in the water and detects prey, even in murky waters. They're native to Australia and New Guinea, and they're fairly hefty critters, weighing some 40 pounds or 18 kilograms. Researchers say that they're the only freshwater turtles that possess flippers, similar to sea turtles. Marine iguana us. Charles Darwin referred to them as imps of darkness. They're better known as iguanas that are found only on the Galapagos Islands and have the unique ability to forage in the sea. They're the only seagoing lizard currently known and subsist on seaweed. Their marine adaptations include the ability to dive up to 30 feet or 9 meters in the water, and their swimming is similar to crocodiles. The animals are primarily dark, allowing them to blend in with the volcanic rocks found in their environment. The dark coloration also allow them to rapidly absorb heat after emerging from the cold waters. Horned Desert Viper. These snakes have two unusual horn-like structures, one over each eye. They're found in deserts of the Middle East and North Africa, and will make a rattling sound before striking. They can grow to more than 30 inches long, or 76 centimeters, and will hide in the sand with their horns, eyes, and nose sticking out as they wait for prey, which usually consists of lizards and rodents. While they are venomous, their bite usually isn't dangerous to humans. While it's possible the horns are used as a lure, experts still aren't exactly sure what the purpose of the horns serve, or why some vipers are born without them. Alligator Snapping Turtles a lot of people think these beasts resemble plated dinosaurs due to their beak-like jaws, spiky shells, and thick, scaled tails. Weighing nearly 180 pounds, or 82 kilograms, their carapace can measure 30 inches, or 76 centimeters, or greater. That size ranks them among the largest freshwater turtles in the world. They typically inhabit waters of the southeastern United States, but an invasive population has been introduced to South Africa. Along with that impressive size, these reptiles have an impressive lifespan as well. In captivity, they can live for about 70 years, but in the wild, they can potentially live to be 120. The common name wasn't only inspired by their skin's resemblance to that of an alligator, it's also a reference to the turtle's powerful jaws. Their bite is reputedly strong enough to bite a human finger clean off. Mexican Mole Lizards Legless lizards are reptiles that lost their limbs or had them reduced through evolution, but the Mexican Mole Lizard is one of only four legless lizard species that do possess legs. They have two strong paddle-shaped forelimbs that are used for digging in the earth like moles. At about nine and a half inches long, or 24 centimeters, their elongated bodies have a corrugated appearance thanks to their closely segmented skin. Using their forelegs and blunt noggins, they burrow into sandy soils and typically stay underground. The only time they emerge is at night or following heavy rainfalls. If a predator locates them underground, the reptile will detach its tail and use it to plug the hole behind it as it escapes. Escapes. They're endemic to areas of the Baja California Peninsula in Mexico. Blind snakes. 
This term refers to a family of snakes that is usually found in tropical areas of Africa, Asia, Australia, and the Americas. Chances are, if the region's name starts with an A, you'll find this serpent there, not counting Antarctica or the Arctic. The 200 species in this family contain some of the smallest snakes in the world. That includes the Bromine blind snake, found in Guatemala, Sri Lanka, and Florida, among other parts of the world. The largest specimens rarely exceed 4 inches, or just 10 centimeters, and most herpetologists regard them as the world's smallest snake species. As implied by their common name, blind snakes are sightless and usually live in burrows underground. Pinocchio lizards. Excluding the tail, male species have a total body length of about 3 inches, or 7.5 centimeters. Their elongated proboscis is nearly 1 inch long, and the length of that nose-like structure inspired the comparison to Pinocchio. But it isn't used for a type of involuntary lie detector. No, researchers think the proboscis is mainly used for courtship displays. Within its family, this lizard is one of only three species that display this characteristic. This one pulled a disappearing act after it was discovered in Ecuador in 1953. It was thought to have gone extinct until 2004, when it was photographed in a cloud forest. Since 2009, scientists have located more specimens within isolated regions of Ecuador. Texas Horned Lizard Even though it's sometimes called a horned toad, it has no relation to amphibians. And while their spiky features give them a fearsome appearance, experts say they're docile for the most part. To escape predators, they can usually blend into their background thanks to their coloration. But they can also puff themselves up into a spiked ball that makes them difficult for predators to swallow. But the showstopper is the lizard's ability to shoot a stream of blood from their eyes. The foul taste of the liquid is usually enough to turn away the attacker. Actually, the sight of this animal shooting gore from its eyes from five feet away, or one and a half meters, might be enough of a deterrent. Gariel. According to National Geographic, these animals can measure about 20 feet long, or six meters, and weigh over 2,000 pounds, or 907 kilograms. That would appear like a menacing enough beast, but it actually poses little threat to humans. Their signature long, thin snout with well over a hundred sharp teeth are thought to be an adaptation to their diet, which is primarily fish. That's a distinct contrast to other crocodiles and alligators, which are known for their expansive, bone-crushing bites. Did you know the gharial is named for an earthenware pot called a gara? The shape of it resembles the structure on the end of the reptile's snout. Depictions of its unusual appearance date back 4,000 years to the Indus Valley civilization. Frilled Dragon It's more commonly called a frilled lizard, and from its appearance, you could make a case for this reptile being either a real-life dragon or real-life dinosaur. They're endemic to New Guinea and Australia, and get their name from the frill around their neck. It's normally kept folded against its body. Whenever the animal is frightened, the neck frill will suddenly spread out. Along with gaping its mouth open and raising its tail above its body, the display serves as a means to scare off predators. At nearly three feet long, the animals are fairly large and are known to walk upright in a bipedal manner. Not many dragons can make that claim. Mata Mata Turtle from Spanish, the name Mata Mata translates to kill kill, and they appear capable enough of accomplishing the task, but they tend to be more sedentary than their fellow reptiles. They're found in South America in the Amazon and Orinoco basins, and can grow up to two feet long, or 61 centimeters. And that unique neck is actually longer than its vertebrae. It's long enough to serve as a snorkel as the animal is submerged in a stream. The creature has developed a type of suction feeding, since they actually can't chew with their jaws. When a fish approaches, they'll open their mouth wide to create low pressure which sucks the prey into their gaping mouth. After expelling the excess water, the prey is swallowed whole. Leaf-tailed geckos. Did you know these reptiles have a reputation for hiding in plain sight? As the name implies, there are many species of leaf-tailed geckos that seemingly morph their bodies into leaf-like shapes. Not only can they mimic the appearance of tree leaves, they also mimic the look of tree bark. Those abilities enable the creature to alter their color and modify certain body parts to better blend into the tropical rainforests of Madagascar. Once that's accomplished, it's much easier to evade predators. The satanic leaf-tailed species gets a lot of attention due to their red eyes and horn-like protuberances, which inspired the common name. Their exotic appearance has made them popular in the international pet trade. While it's not listed as endangered, ongoing collection and habitat destruction threaten the reptile's existence. The Amazing Spider-Man Lizard This lizard is formally known as a Mwanza flat-headed rock agama. They're native to Tanzania, Kenya, and Rwanda. And as you'll note from their unique red and blue coloration, they bear a striking resemblance to a certain web sling 
Gunslinger. And because of that amazing resemblance, they're often referred to as the Spider-Man Agama, and have become popular choices as pets. We're told that they'll even adopt a superhero-like pose. That, along with its vibrant coloration, is the male's way of attracting a potential mate. Thanks for watching this episode. Did you like the video? Tell us what you think in the comments below. And be sure to like, follow, and subscribe.